closed syllable words. These are the ones that you see down here. They are the most decodable. And they're called closed syllable because they have this pattern. They have a, a pattern of a, a vowel and a consonant. And whenever you see vowel consonant like this right here, what it means is that this vowel is closed. And so that means it's going to be short. So I'm going to use a little uh, U there to indicate that, that the vowel sound is going to be short. Now you see closed syllable words like uh, basic ones like in, on, at. These are all uh, CV, uh, VC words. They're all basic closed syllable words. And all these ones here, whenever you see vowel consonant, uh, for the most part, that first syllable, that first vowel is short. So this is I, A, uh, A, uh, right? They're all short. Now this pattern is extended out to CVC words. The, the open, the closed syllables here, it's also located here and here and here. And, and what we have is all these words that we're looking at, CVC words, uh, single syllable words with a consonant blend. These are all blends. Single syllable words with um, just one, uh, with just the, the consonant at the end or with even with uh, digraphs and blends at the end, all these, all these fall into this pattern of uh, a vowel and some type of constant uh, blend or digraph at the end. And so this is going to be a short vowel for all these. So all our beginning words are considered closed syllables. Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Now, you could have a student and they could be struggling with these closed syllable words and their issue might not be, they might know that this is a short vowel. Their issue might be with the blend. It might be with the diagraph. So that is, you know, if, if, they, if they correctly knew that the vowel was short, right? You know, in the word, uh, let me do chat. If they knew that this was a short A, right? then you wouldn't really make a, a big deal of, of them having difficulty with closed syllable words. M maybe they're having a difficulty with the constant uh, diagraph in the beginning, right? So, so we want to know that these are all closed syllable words and these, all, these closed syllable words have, you know, diagraphs and uh, diagraphs in the beginning, diagraphs at the end. Sometimes they have the blends in the beginning, blends in the end. You want to be able to point out these characteristics and spot what part of those single syllable, closed syllable words the student is having difficulty with, okay? All right, this is the first one, closed syllables. Let's go to the next one. 